dude, you got like four to five EPs coming out this summer. You got a book likely to come out uh, in tandem with this. It, I mean, you are an octopus, if you will. I mean, <laughs> you're just squidding, squidly, squid around everywhere uh, and doing so many things at the same time and quickly. So you have all of that and you're writing a book. I am writing In the a book. middle, before, during, and after all of this malarkey, uh, you are writing a massive book. I am. What's that about? Uh, could, not related to music, uh, but uh, all, uh, I guess some of it's related to music. But, but related to you. Fair. No, that's fair. Um, yeah, I am writing a book. And what it is, is it's... Uh, I don't really have a name for it yet, but it's it's really just a collection of novellas, and which makes me sound really, really geeky. <laughs> it, it makes me sound so like like English major like, and that, and that's what I was. I was an English major. And, it's okay. You're only half a geek, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. Yes, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll be half a geek then. But but yeah, but yeah, I was I was an English major in college, and uh, I I credit that to my learning to write lyrics from studying poetry and mm -hmm. obviously from the other songwriters that I met in Nashville helped me a lot with that. But it, but I, I think that being an English major, being around language and words sure helped me a lot with that. And I, we studied a lot of prose and, and things like that. So, um, so not only was I exposed to the poetry, but just like, I, I became obsessed with this idea of telling a story like my life changed significantly a year ago. I went through some, I won't say what it is, but I went through something extreme. And when I went through it, I decided, you know what? Like I need to switch gears. I can't write songs anymore. Like it was almost like there was a, there was a blockage mm -hmm. the, and it didn't seem like there was a lot to write about anymore, but I had written so many songs over the course. Of, like I'd written hundreds of songs since I lived in Nashville. And, right. And so I needed to do something different. And that thing that was different became writing stories. And so I've, I've got all these stories that I've built up over the past year and a half. And I've decided that I'm going to turn it into a book. And I want it to be done by the summer. So I, I have a lot, of, a lot of things that I'm kind of like, it doesn't need to be the summer, but I want it to be done by the summer. Right. Um, so it's a bunch of novellas. Some of them are, some of them are satirical. Um, which is a whole different conversation, breaking down what that is and and uh, what it means to me and what it means to my work. Now, are you planning to release that uh, like publicly, or is this just like a like a for you thing? I know you've been handing out uh, some, I guess, incomplete versions of it. Uh, yeah, which have been great. But what are your plans for this book? the The book is uh, is something that I'm sort of doing for me. Mm -hmm. Like it, it all, it, I kind of got addicted to it kind of like songwriting. It's like, I wrote my first song that I liked and, and then I had to write another one. I had to write another one. I had to write another one. Right. So now it's the same mentality, but it's with stories. So I wrote a couple of stories that I really enjoyed and I thought, wow, I created this. This is huge. Like, that, like this is, I made this and this is a good thing, mm -hmm. you know? And so I got kind of addicted to it. So then like it just spiraled from there. Just so many different stories that have just become long enough to be novellas. Like novellas can, in in my scenario, like twenty or thirty pages, a story, which is a lot of writing. And so I've just been trying. To, I've been doing the music stuff, but this is like a whole different level. <laughs> like it's right. it's a it's a totally different thing. I've never done it before. Um. And I'm just excited to finish it. Yeah, so hopefully I have something to put out. Uh, like, there's also editing and all that other, all that other stuff. But dude, don't forget your apostrophes. Yeah, right. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Take a lot he's of balls probably, he's probably going to look at this video and be like, "What the hell are they talking about?" <laughs> like, I, I have no <laughs> idea what I did. <laughs> like, oh, Mr. Joe. But, uh. You know, cleaning things up, dude. You got like four to five EPs coming out this summer. You got a book likely to come out uh, in tandem with this. It, I mean, you are an octopus, if you will. I mean, <laughs> you're just squidding, squidly, squid around everywhere uh, and doing so many things at the same time and quickly. 
you're moving at the speed of light. And so yeah. if we could just one more time, uh, you know, just a wrap up of everywhere that you're at as uh, far as where can they up. find you online? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you can find me on, um, on Spotify, uh, Apple music as Jake Hebert. Uh, my, my, uh, I, I didn't say this before, but I have two Instagrams, one, one for, one for my personal stuff, which is just Jake Hebert music. Mm-hmm. And then for the know hows, the Instagram we have is the know hows band official. Gotcha. You can you can find us on that, or you can just search our music on any streaming service. Well, beautiful. So you're everywhere and doing a ton of things, and of course, uh, trying to your next show uh, that I'm aware of is here in Carlisle, May yes, 20th sir. at Bird's Nest Brewing, and uh, that's going to be great. That's going to be you and I, and maybe you and I can. Uh, show some EP work that we've done and maybe even sell the album there. That'd be pretty cool. That sounds, uh, that sounds like a plan. I'm excited for it. Sounds like great timing. Well, Jake, it's been uh great hanging with you, of course, here at the scene, but uh, you know, all week, this whole weekend has been a blast having you down. So I want to thank you personally for coming down and also for being on the scene. Thank you. No, thank you. It's been a blast. All right, man. Thanks over and out.